Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Jetty Jet Show. We're out here. We're out here. Good to see Izzy. Good to see Whiskey. Wow, everybody just... What the heck's going on? Everybody just showed up immediately? What just happened? Please, first of all, let me know you guys can hear me loud and clear. Music is bumping my ear right now. But I turned it down for you guys. Let's turn it back up. Let's have a little bit of music. Let me know if you can hear me, please. Izzy, you're here! 24! 24! 24! My oh, man, Whiskey, I think I got you mixed up with somebody else that I know. I'm sorry. I was so confusing. Um, what's going on, YouTube? Oh, what's going on? Damn, this music is loud. It's in my ear. Okay, that's enough music. So that was NCS. No copyright sounds. One of my favorites. I like to have just uh, playing because it's no copyright. I can just play it. And so yeah, what about about boom haze? Um, I am going to be painting for you guys today. I'm gonna to be painting a little bit, getting you guys caught up on what's been going on with my life, some craziness. It's about 9 a.m. here in the West Coast, and um, I'm wired because I'm like lack lacking sleep, and I have a lot to, a lot of stuff to talk about and do. So yeah, good to see you guys. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Whiskey and Phantom Mac, good to see you guys. I, I wasn't sure if you guys were there because I'm not seeing any kind of um, analytics from the actual video. Okay, anyways. Let's, um, and it was pretty hectic this morning. I had everything set up, all the descriptions and everything. And it just all got deleted and I have to redo it immediately just before the stream. But look, we're on time. We're on time. And without further ado, let's get to the uh, let's get to the checklist. Um, first of all, thanks, thank you guys, thank you, thank you, Patreon supporters and everybody else who are just here to watch and enjoy the show. We had a big turnout on the uh, the um, the last uh, Patreon reward packet. The gum, um, the Ray Ayanami. Um, and uh, just wanted to say, it's also available now on Gumroad. So if you guys want to check that out, it's it's available to everyone. Um, so thank you guys so much for that. Uh, secondly, um, there's still people who are questioning. Gotta hate, gotta hate copyright. Yeah, I hate, I hate that copyright. Um, no, actually, I don't hate it. I don't know. You gotta have some. You gotta have some ways to fund your music. You know, you gotta have some ways to protect it. Cause I, I fall under that same same. Same rule of uh, thinking, belief, necessity. I feel like because I already had like about three occasions where I had people come to me and tell me my stuff is being sold on websites, t-shirts, mugs, posters. It's not a good feeling. And, you know, it's like if you're not able to protect that property, it's like anybody could just take it, print it, sell it. It's, uh, it's yeah, it's, it's pretty sad. Um... So we need we need copyrights um and uh with 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 uh moderation I guess I don't know what I'm saying anyways um and then I want to talk about how how Patreon works because some people are still confused basically let's let's first start drawing okay so I have I have I have uh I have uh these guys are all in separate layers I'm just going to be rendering out these characters who am I going to Next. These guys, this is about 30% done right now. I'm at 30% stage. I have Moomin Rider. Let's do Sonic. Tro Tro. Tro Tro. A. A. Tro Tro. So, yeah, um,. I'm just gonna go through these character and we're just hanging out and just drawing. I have to prepare for Fanime. I have to prepare for Fanime this month. Um, but we can get into that in a little bit. Um so this this thing about Patreon, people um get in and then they're expecting to get something immediately. Like they want their reward, and I understand completely because I was under the same thinking and it's it's complicated because it doesn't work that way. It's 
it's a subscription based website it's not a store where you sign up you pay for stuff or you re you receive something immediately when you become a patron you're subscribing to that month's that month's reward dang it, i got some like trucks outside um and basically you have to be a patron before i release that month the re month's reward and there's only a one time release basically and that's on the 1st or the 3rd um just around the time um once the uh the, pa the the charge goes through just to make sure people aren't like dining and dashing which has happened about like 10 12 times right people come cuz i used to put it up even though it's not the 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 time where it's being charged i would release it and then people would just ditch me like it's it's pretty it's pretty scumbaggy but i understand you know um and so basically at the end of the month i post the reward and anyone who are like currently patrons during that time they receive the reward and there's not no, like it doesn't it doesn't go out to anyone who comes in after so it's a subscription you don't get the stuff from the previous months and you don't get stuff um yeah you can't you can't buy it either because the way it works is you when i charge the post because once i post it i have to charge and i charge it go it charges everybody it just it just charges the whole entire community on my patreon like so that means if somebody new comes in and they go hey how does this work i want i want the old rewards now if i were to post one to that person in charge it charges everyone again and so everybody's just gonna be like what the hell why are you charging me twice? So the only other solution is basically you can go to my Gumroad links in the description and purchase um, the uh, rewards there. Just know it's um, like a fifteen percent to twenty percent increase in price, just because um, fees and also being a patron is you know it's a, it's a big thing. I want to make sure we have some sort of um, incentive to become a patron, you know. So um, so yeah, that's how it works. Bad up, bad bows, pow pows. Okay, and um, next one. Just want to get this all out of the way fast. Don't want to spend too much time on it. What the hell? Ah, uh, my notes, my notes. Oh yes, oh yes. Apologize, apologize, jet, apologies. So I got a lot of complaints in the last video. Um, one of the highest like numbers of dislikes. It's only like fourteen or fifteen, but it's still a. A large ratio to the numbers of likes and you want to look at that number and I'm getting complaints and I just want to respond to that um, I talk and then my voice fades out as I'm describing things and explaining things and I realize now that that was a poor t poor decision that I made um, not realizing that wasn't what I did last time I thought that that's what I did with me my um, my Yoko video. If you guys go check it out. I kind of do the same thing. The difference is I don't trail off my voice. So when I was editing the video, I thought this was what I was was doing. Give some of the details and just cut it off. But I didn't. I finished my sentences. I finished my, my statement, which I think is, is, is the way to go. So in the future, when I release it for YouTube, the YouTube version, I'll explain um, whatever I'm doing in that stage um, and just complete that thought. Um, it's chopped up arbitrarily throughout the video to get it down to um, a good length for YouTube and so where it lands is where it lands and if you get that piece of knowledge that nugget of wisdom then you guys will get it you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna censor out what it's what I'll be saying you know what I mean I just thought it would be kind of like I, I felt like it worked well the, on the last one but it turned out that's not what I did so I just want to apologize you guys my humble apologies bow bows bow bows bows okay so so, okay, let's go. Uh, what's up? Uh, you have any tips for digital art? Yes, I do, man. I do. I do. We're going to be talking about that. We're here. We're going to be talking about that. We're not even trying yet, but we're just talking. We're just hanging out. Um, it's already been 10 minutes. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, so today's uh, One Punch. It's a big old, big old, big old, big old, um, I don't know what to call it, uh, montage, mural. It's it's pretty hectic. It's huge. It's a uh, uh, a lot of characters. Took me. It's already been like three four days. A lot of different um, things that happened in between that slowed me down. Um, but I'm gonna draw Sonic now. Sonic. 
So, so when you say digital, it's a huge, 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 big topic. It covers so much. Um, there's so many methods, and there's no right way or wrong way of doing it. Well, there kind of there can be a wrong way, but there's no perfect way. It's just what it's what uh, approach you want to take. And I've approached, I've crossed the lands, and I've traveled through the digitals and experienced the many, many different paths and doorways of of painting and you know I'm just like I don't even stick to stick to a certain way sometimes I'll go um sometimes I'll do like one uh one layer sometimes I'll do three layers sometimes I'll do hundreds of layers um when I'm working on a lot of, a lot of characters it's it's actually pretty good to have a lot of char um layers but then at the same time for my devil man piece I didn't have a lot of layers. I was really successful, and I was, I surprised myself because, um, just like right now, I'm painting these these uh, different shadows and stuff on a separate layer, and then I'll um, I can either merge it down after I'm done, or I can keep it in a folder for safety sake. So like these other. These other these other ones. Sometimes I have in folders. Sometimes they're not. Most of them are actually. And it's just a great way to work because then um, we can keep things organized. Times three things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just finishing this up. And it's really, 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 really hectic because um, Fanime is coming up on the t 25th. It's the anime convention in San Jose on the West Coast here, California. Um, hope you guys can make it. It would be awesome. Please come by. My booth is going to be one, one. How can I say this so you guys remember? It's 1,016. No, 1,116. So, um, just say all one six. <laughs> six. One 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 six. That's where I'll be. If you guys are in, if you guys are around, um, on the twenty fifth, please stop by, and also stop by um a good friend of mine, um Dia Wu Art. Go check her out her stuff. She's incredible. We were trying to get a table together, um, uh, but it's just so difficult to get a table in in the artist alley because it they just get scooped up as soon as the uh, the tables go available online. It's just <laughs> we're sitting there like like she's she's like I got this and I'm gonna click on this I didn't get that she's like oh crap get this and like oh my god I can't get that oh my god this is taken did you get this and, you get that. and so at, at, at some point I just had to settle with a table and it's just scary because you could see like this you can see this chart of tables you can see all the charts of tables there's like two big old there's a lot of sections of tables and they're all just getting they're just they're all just getting redded out read it out meaning like they're getting s scooped up and we all want like the middle aisle which is like the main the main aisle where everybody's walking we're like we wanted we wanted these two together or, like these two and we're like just trying to get them um she was able to scoop up hers and i'm just like behind like s like oh my god can you get this get that and ah, it was hard but anyways um we didn't get the same area but it's fine go check her out too i think it's 908 nine no 907 i was supposed to get 908 yes I believe that's that's all. Dia Wuart. Good friend. Um Yo 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 do you have a tablet you draw on like a digital screen to take thingy? The reason I'm asking is because I'm planning to buy a new Wacom tab. Very good, very good, very good. Yes, 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 yes. I'm um using a Cintiq right now. I'm using Cintiq 13 inch. Um and it's been um really, 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 really good. But at the same time, really painful to me because it's riddled. It was riddled with a lot of problems. My goodness, oh my goodness, there's a lot of problems um, and headaches. And I, I, I learned, I learned a lot. I learned a lot of fixes, and and I learned a lot of reasons why the problems. The first problem was the cord is very fidgety, finicky. Um, it glitches a lot. It's a heavy cord. It sticks out the side. And over time, it just hay, um, hangs, and the gravity of it pulls it down. So then, uh, it just it just becomes disconnected. And I take good care of this thing, okay? 
Okay, this is my birthday present from baby girl. So, for it to go out like that, I was pretty, pretty sad. But then, but then I found a solution to it, and that was um. There's a there's a guy um, on Etsy or something. His name is like Bad Robot Design. He sells uh, 3D printed adapters that attaches to the walking pad that gives it support. It's like back support for your cord, and it and it and it solved the issue. But then later on, I was having another issue where it would black out. The screen would black out, and I couldn't get it to work. I'd redo the drivers, go to older drivers, um, reinstall like a million times. I mean, this was a this was a daily thing, like a daily thing every day. And I learned real then then I was like, oh, maybe it's the uh, maybe it's the HDMI uh, cord because this stupid iMac. 2015 doesn't have an HDMI uh, input outlet outlet input insertion point it just doesn't have it like 2015 and it's still thinking let's be proprietary Thunderbolt um and I was just so mad I was like maybe maybe you know what maybe it's that maybe it's the mini display port uh converter so i bought a new one with like a gold standard gold plated version of the hdmi mini cable and i was like whoa that fixed the issue and i'm on the forums you can go check me out it's crazy i'm back and forth like 20 times nope <laughs> shit's broken ah, ah. you know and um eventually you know i'm just banging my head on the wall because i think i fix it and it doesn't work and then um, I soon realized I finally, finally discovered, finally discovered the issue, and it was the Mac. It's not the iMac. So the weight of the cord is the problem, but the turning off part was because when I turn off my computer, I don't just turn it off. I turn off the power um, switch to the uh, to the wall, and shutting it off that way with all the cords and, and that, something happens with the, the 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 fuses or the circuits. I don't know, but it it creates a something confusing with the, with the system and it it disrupts the cord making it not communicate with the computer so I learned don't turn off that switch and the problem went away so it's a beautiful 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 thing okay that was a long way of explaining that uh Cintiq is a beautiful and very uh, reliable um, stressful uh, <laughs> uh, piece of hardware and I highly recommend it. I do. I do. As long as you get your adapter. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. On top of that, I do recommend you guys use a Wacom tablet pad. Pad. Wacom pad. Because it's good. It's good for you. It's good for your health. Yeah. Um, dang, I heard Huyan improved their quality a lot. Huyan, yeah. Yeah, Huyan heard a lot of the good things. A lot of a lot of companies, competing, competing companies coming in, you know, bringing us. Um, different options. Options are always good. It uh, <laughs> it encourages other other companies to to lower their prices if they want to stay competitive. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, go get a Huyan. Huyan. Go get a hu hu Huyan. Everybody, go grab a Huyan. You know what I mean? <laughs> Show Wacom that they're not the only kids in town. Go get a Hoyon or some other, you know what I mean? And they are like three times cheaper and I hear a lot, a lot, a lot of great things, you know what I mean? Like, like for example, this pad is like $800 or 1000 or something during the time. It was brand new when it first came out and when I got it. Um, but I hear something comparable is like today only $200, you know? So hey, Give it a shot, you know what I mean? Two hundred bucks, you know. And if it goes bad, you know, it'll probably run you like two two years or so, and that's that's a pretty good run. I think that's a pretty good run, you know. Hey, bad out. A lot more good. Ah, and what's are you using, using it? And um, you guys, please please write my name um at because that does help. I can see that big old red sign if you guys want to say something to me directly. Okay, ball red, ball red. So, you guys want to hear the story about my Cintiq um, evolution? 
If you want to know how to how to become a master at inking, like inking, I gotta be good. I wanna know how do you get good? How do you do it? Please teach me. Goodness gracious, it was a long journey, long long journey, and there is a way. It's a it's it's there is a way. There is a way. It's not just like you need to just keep drawing. That's a big 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 part of it but you also know, need to know how to practice how to draw like how to approach it you know what i mean it just gets you there faster so one of the ways one of the ways is um first thing you can do is uh ink ink over your drawings stress over it you know what i mean just slave over it you know what i mean um Slay over your drawings. Um, another is um, ghosting over your drawings. So if you're using a Wacom tablet and not a Cintiq and you're not painting over it, you can ghost over your your lines. Pretend like you're you're uh, you're you're about to stro stroke. You go over it and then you then you do it. You're trying to get your brain to synchronize with it. And then you got to sleep on it because you're not gonna just get good immediately. Sleep is crucial for any sort of motor skill um motor skill motor skill skill you just gotta sleep you do it a little bit and then you sleep once you wake up you're gonna come back and you're gonna be better in like two weeks you should be pretty good at it pretty proficient enough to be able to to do it like without having to stress out too much but yeah that two weeks is the first it's the hell it's the hell week uh credit is free as well um so yeah, what's what's been, what's been going on? Um, I got that on my my list of things to say, talk about. Um, so this year has been the most the, the 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 most productive year I've ever had. The most productive year I've ever had in terms of uh, personal art. I've never drawn so much for myself in my life ever. I've drawn just as much or even more for work and school. Um, but damn, I didn't finish the story about the Wacom thing. Damn. Okay, so let me just go really quickly through the Wacom story. So when I first used the Wacom tablet, I would always remain around sixty percent like uh, sync. Let's just call it the sync, synchronized sync. Let's just call it sync. Meaning, um, how well can your mind uh, synchronize with the movement on the the screen? This is the tablet. I mean the ta uh, the, the the pad, not the screen tablet um for forever for like for 10 years you know i thought it was like that that's that's as good as good as as it's gonna get there is a there's a sense of anticipation a sense of of just like yeah anticipating you're not you're not drawing directly on the screen so you have to can't kind of anticipate where the line's going especially if you're working with a slower computer working that way for 10 years is just like well this is it this is as good as it gets and uh, you know what i mean i feel like i'm i feel like i'm pretty good and the way i would try to work around it, is zooming in to the drawing a lot um zooming up real close that make making the uh the lines easier to hit you know closer target the second way once i got the cintiq there was a huge disconnect i was like whoa what the hell it's like learning all over again it's like my brain's trying to anticipate when the screen's right in front of me it's like i don't have to anticipate you put the pen down and it's drawing on the lines so it was as if i had to relearn how to think as if I'm drawing on paper, there's it's all it's like, it's like an illusion to me. It's like my brain doesn't want to say it's like if I were to draw on paper, you know, there's no disconnect. Like paper, it's a physical object. Well, drawing on a Cintiq screen, something tells me no, this isn't a physical object. You're still using some sort of magic to create this. And so, once I got over that hump, that hill of just being able to, hey, you know, I'm drawing on a screen. Um, there were times where I went back to use the walk-on pad. I went back to the walk-on pad, and I was 100% synced. I'm good on the walk-on pad. I'm like, what? What happened? I'm just maybe, maybe less. You know, maybe, maybe okay. Let's say 80%. And then the if if this is say 95% synced, then the walk-on tab went up from 60 to to 80%. I was like, I was I was surprised. I was very very surprised. I'm still am today. I'm just like, wow. I'm able to like draw very freely. And, uh, and it felt like maybe something happened where 
experimenting or exploring the uh, the Wacom Cintiq. Like, got my brain to to let go of some sort of some apprehension, some sort of some sort of weird um, self self consciousness or something. I don't know. You get sketchbook for free when you buy when you buy a Surface Pro, right? Who's your favorite artist? I don't know, but I do know it has a pretty cheap year plan. Okay, so um, this this year, yeah, really, really, really productive. I started off the year strong. I said I'm going to do a, a daily sketch every day, every day for like three months, every single day. And it worked out great. It worked out great. Um, went for three months because I need, I said after the three months are over, I will pick and choose which ones to finalize for, for like convention pieces. Um, and currently I have about 50, I have 50 to 60 pieces that I can potentially complete in that, in that time that I started finalizing them today, I've only completed 12 and I have about, um, more days I have left. Okay, I leave on I leave on about the twenty third, and it is now the eleventh today. So about twenty days because I also gotta build a rig to prop up these paint prints. I also gotta go proof the prints, make sure they look good, and then get them printed. So I mean, and that the place that I get it done is like you know forty minute drive. It's just a lot of work, a lot of work. Got to go to Home Depot, get some PVC pipe chop up some pvc pipes you know get the blueprints for it which i have i have i spent a whole day doing that um but i am super excited just because of the sheer amount of work that i've done this year this year and yeah 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 so that was that's what's been going on i've been really quiet because i've just been working really hard and this month this month qu question what do you do when your eye advances really past please put in at at the jetty jet show you'll get a red like comment up on my screen and i can see it like addressed towards me so please if you want to ask a question say at jetty jet so what do you do when your eye advances really fast far past your hand because you aren't drawing enough and all you are looks just looks bad and then you just don't want to draw as much anymore what do you do what do you do well that happens to I think all of us, all of us. And I just think, I just think because of the amount of exposure we have to art nowadays, you can compare yourself, and it's a matter of comparing yourself um, than actual skill. So if you stop comparing yourself, you'll be fine. We are all we are on our own individual um, path and progress. We're on different stages. There's going to be. <laughs> there's going to be millions of kids who are younger um, than me drawing better than me. And there's going to be millions, maybe not millions, there's a large number for artists, H hundreds of thousands <laughs> who are better. And that's always going to be the case. What you want to do is use them as inspiration instead of like competition, like try to learn from them and apply it to your work and compare yourself to yourself look at yourself from a year ago that's it that's one of the things you can do and when you can keep your eye on the target that way you're going to be less discouraged you're going to look at your art and be like hey i've done i did pretty good i'm going to keep going you know i mean it's 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 it's, it's easier said than done i'm not like a I'm not perfect at that either. I'll look at art. Like, there's just so much good stuff out there. I'm just like, man, what am I even doing? <laughs> I'm wasting my life away. I should just give up. I give up. It's too scary. I'm going inside. You know what I mean? But the but the uh, the sheer fact that you're actually trying and you're you're engaging in it that that's enough. You know that means you're willing to give it a shot. Um, just know, just know, just know. Ninety nine percent of us had to start from the beginning and we were right where you were right right where you were go to my deviant art at the jetty jet show and you'll see well, look at my early stuff compared to today it's not the same thing if i had pictures from when i was in the kindergarten it was not the same thing okay it's 
it's almost partly partly faith too. So you gotta have faith in yourself that you're gonna eventually get there. If you don't have that faith, then yeah, you know what I mean. A kid who uh, sees the glass half full is way better off than a kid who just thinks that there's no point in trying. I failed before I even started, and that's something I've noticed with anybody who doesn't draw, is that they they just say, you know, I can't draw. Oh, you know, like a lot of people who do who don't draw, they just the first thing they do is, man. I can never do that. I can't draw. You know what I mean? And they'll say that they'll they've been saying that as as long as since I was like first grade, you know. But I'm not where I wasn't where I was then. It was just a, it was a mental thing. We've all been we we're always in a mental state of mind. Like where are you now? So that's my two cents on that. Have two cents. Have two of them. Okay. So I know this is personal, but do you live by yourself? And it is it is. If so, how do you support your, yourself? Because soon I'm moving out. Okay, so I I live with my mom. This is actually my parents' house, and um, my 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 father went back to his back to our home country in Cambodia to be with his mom, who's super old, and you know he's been living his life um, here for the past like thirty thirty three years, um, raising us. Um, so, you know, he wanted to go back. So basically he put me in charge, you know, I'm, I'm in charge of all the bills. Um, I, there's a, there's a allowance that I give to my, to my mom. Um, there are, there's the, the, the all the utility bills, um, internet, uh, uh freaking phone and, you know, all that stuff. And then on top of that, so we also own the house. So God thank God, thank God for that. Thank my parents for that. Thank my dad for that. My goodness, he worked his butt off for that. We do own the house, um, but I still have to pay about sixteen hundred, like about fourteen to sixteen hundred dollars a month, and that's with the house that we own, and that's because of school loans. School loans will do that to you. Um, and yeah, it, it is a personal question, but I like to I like to talk about it. That'd be kind of cool because. Um, I am. I consider myself not to be, you know, amateur. I'm. I'm pretty pro at this point, and I'm um, pretty much just. I do this full time. I do freelancing. I'll do contract work. I'll do whatever you know, art that's art related, and that's how I make a living. Um, but I've branched away from working more towards contracts and stuff, so I can pursue this kind of. Um, I guess what well, you can call it a social artist. Yeah, I mean you're you you you're social artist as like you're on you're on all the social platforms, you know, and you're producing art that you like, that you have fun drawing. Like right now, I'm drawing one punch. I can do it. I can do it. At the same time, I can also get supported by the community and make a living off of it. It's it's a, it's it's been it's been really scary and really difficult. It's been the hardest the hardest year. The hardest month of my entire life. The hardest month in my entire life. Okay? Like, in terms of just finances. Because $1,600 a month. And then I have to... Basically, my 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 money just gets <laughs> eaten up by all the bills and stuff by the end of the month. And it just, it just repeat, repeats itself. So I, I do basically Patreon. Um, it's, it's a small small like bit of change but it still helps I do a, a gum road I'll do uh, art convention shows and I'll do commissions here and there but I do not want to take big contract work because that gets me back into the loop you work on this big project you're quiet for a long time you're not producing stuff you're not making a big splash in the community but you're working you're getting paid but you're not working on your own stuff and by the time you're done you you're either on an another project or you don't you don't find a project but all the art that you worked on isn't yours. Mm -mm. And what were you doing the whole time? You weren't promoting your own art. So you can't make a living doing your own stuff. And it just repeats. <clears throat> so going, <clears throat> going, man, what the heck? What, what kind of, yeah, going, <clears throat> sorry, going social artists. I, there's got to be a better term, but let's just go with social artist for now. Um, it was difficult. You're not taking on 
the work to pursue. You know what I mean? I spend I, the last Patreon. I swear to you, I spent two weeks editing that thing, and pretty much got about three hundred fifty dollars for it. I could have spent two weeks on contract work or commission work and gotten paid maybe five five k. So it's a matter of just like where do you want where do I want to direct the energy and and it's a matter of faith so it's difficult it's a difficult grind like I'm now fully understanding the meaning of starving artists and with that said um that's what art school got me you know what I'm saying I got the uh, to get the big big debt big lot of debt well, art school was great too art art school is cool I had a lot of fun learned a lot for sure but just super expensive and now I'm paying for it. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's that's uh, what's going on in my life. I uh, I um, I'm here, pretty much taking care of my mom, uh, as well as well as myself, and a dog. Okay, okay. So I am the man of the house. Is what I'm trying to say. All right, because it can get a little like you know touchy. It's like yeah, you live with your mom. Yeah, but I I kind of pay for everything in this house. And it feels good. It feels good, you know, to be able to provide, um, for from for my family, my mom anyway, you know, because my brother moved out. He's a successful dude, <clears throat> taking care of himself and his family, and I'm over here, you know, just holding down the fort. Um, and it would have been, it <laughs> would be so much more difficult. I can't imagine if I could do like do what I'm doing if I had to pay just even like $800 in rent money like could you imagine that like oh my god on top of that it would be 16 plus 8 2000 something but I would have to pretty much work for a company like I cannot even afford to think about anything else it's you got to you take a state job even you know take a take take something that's stable you know what I mean cuz the art industry is difficult it's difficult yeah yeah yeah, yeah. oh I missed the I missed the question sorry I see it it went red okay I saw it twice twice okay uh, so I know it's personal. Okay, no, that's the same one. Uh, I saw your really old stuff when I, you draw with a mouse. It was amazing. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> it's kind of sad that I'm not because she is. Yeah. Yep. So um, with that, with that, I want to just say um, uh, things are looking good. Things are looking good. I did make about, damn it, you know what I mean? I don't want to make it public, but I did make about 350 okay? Let's just say that. <laughs> On Patreon and then Gumroad is also helping me. It's picking up, and with each you know each month, it's cons consistently growing. As long as I stick with it, you know, that's not bad. That's not bad. You know, take take maybe two. You know, I can lessen the amount of work that I'm doing on the side. Focus more on this. So that's a good. Uh, I think that's a good good segue into um. What are we doing for next month? Uh, for this month? This month, my goodness! Every single day dedicated to this, to this uh, <laughs> production of of prints. So I, I forgot to mention, um, I have currently twelve done, and I um, I I only have about uh, uh, ten days left. Yeah, about ten days left to do like stuff, but I have eight eight prints. Or eight pieces that I really, really want to finish. So my goal is to do eight of these, and it takes about average two days to finish one. For this one, four days. But a single character, it can just be like two days. So I guess average maybe three days. Um, and I'm really hoping to get those those eight down. My God, please let me get those eight down. I'm like just, just please, I've done it before. You know what I mean? Where it's like all nighters and stuff. But you know what? Like they say, the older you get, man. Shh. I, I I need my sleep. I can't function. Function. And make sure you guys sleep, man. Sleep is really important. Super important. You guys want to level up. You guys want to get good at anything. Go sleep. Go sleep. Stop playing around. You're wasting time. Matter of fact, you are performing worse if you're, if you're not if you're not sleeping. You can get whatever you're doing done maybe twice twice as fast if you just slept. You slept, wake up, get a refresh, fresh. You know what I mean? If you're if you're late on something, too bad. You're late. Make up for it later. Our all nighters are bad for you. It, it builds up. I forgot what kind of chemical it's called in your brain, but it's a chemical in your brain, and it's kind of junk, toxic chem chemicals. And sleep is what kind of throws away that, um, 
that damaging chemical and it's in your brain and it's a root cause for Alzheimer's brain damage a lot of problems like later on in your life and one of the biggest thing you can you can look up yourself I mean don't take my word for it but it's the link to um premature not premature um short shorter life shorter lifespan anyone who doesn't sleep very much shorter lifespan you know people say hey you can sleep when you're dead you can sleep when you're dead hey you know what you're gonna you're gonna die sooner if you don't sleep <clears throat> so go to sleep oh man yeah i'm old man i'm old man i embrace it okay i don't fight it i don't fight it never have well i have growing up maybe like when i was eight but it's like I've got a philosophy you know it's like that's part of life. It's just beautiful parts of life is aging. That's without aging, it's you won't be able to experience the full facet of life. Yeah, yeah, full spectrum. You know what I mean? It's a, it's, it's like a beautiful movie, and you want every bit of it. You know, from being a little toddler to growing old and dying. You know, it's not a complete story if it doesn't happen that way. <laughs> but it's definitely good to make sure it it's quality and it lasts as lasts as long as it can. But yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Oh man, I hope shit I watched the stream of oh, sleep. By the way, thank you for drawing. Hey, <laughs> one punch is here. Is that one punch? <laughs> Kinda. You're welcome. Oh, and I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Like I, I can record the screen without having like a. Oh snap! Snap crackle, pisms. You know what? It's not bad. I can take the YouTube. I can take the YouTube video. So I wasn't recording this process. You can see this pause button. I wasn't recording this whole entire time. <laughs> So yeah, Sonic. <laughs> Let's put some value on the Sonic, you know, making him pop forward a bit. Like I said, about about thirty five percent done. Once I put these darker values throughout the whole picture, it'll be fifty percent done. Like what? What? Yeah, there's a lot more stuff to do. A lot more stuff to do. If you guys want to find it more? Go check out my Patreon. We'll just uh, we'll just talk about what we're doing now at this moment as we go. Okay. But yeah, thanks guys. Thanks so much, you guys who are currently supporting me. It's uh, you're making my dreams come true. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dream. I'm very fortunate to be where I am. So arigato goes I'm ass. Arigato goes I'm ass. Uh huh. So here's a little tip. Okay, you guys want to talk about layers, right? We got the darker stuff here, and we got the uh, base colors there. If we go in between it, we can work on the skin because the skin is is there, and I want to go underneath that hair. If you want to make sure you have less layers, start on the skin first. Work on the skin first. Work on the skin first. That way, you can layer the darker values above it. But since we have layers, you can go underneath it and look, it, it, it does show up through because I'm using a transparent brush. Um, but if you had, um, see like you, it doesn't show up, it doesn't show up strong, you know, it's, it's there, but it's, it kind of disappears underneath. See, it's going underneath that, the dark stuff. Yeah. See, and it shows back up over here. See, um, so I can start up a layer that's underneath. That's some nice value there. I like to build up my values and my hues. Um, kind of like, kind of like watercolor. Start up light, go dark. So yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yum, yum, sham. Yum yum sham. Now, now, now the file is gonna get bigger and it's gonna slow down everything. So I'll make sure I just merge it down. I don't want to deal with it too much. 
in pixels. Oh, when you you painting, how do you paint things that are white, like a white T-shirt, a white coupe, etc. A white cup. Do you use like a very light color of blue? Light and color is all relative, Watson. Relative, relatively speaking, relative. Okay. So let's talk about white. It's not white unless it's next to something else like this hair. This hair can be white, but if you color select it, I actually talk about this and um, please go check on my Merry Christmas video, my my last Christmas video that I did for Ditus, who didn't shout me out in the video. Damn, Ditus. I thought you were better than that, dude. What's up with that, dude? Hmm? Now he put me in the comments. He put me in the description. But I mean, it doesn't do anything unless you say the dude's name on freaking air, man. What's up with that? So anyways, I worked on something he asked me to do. So um, we talk about, because I was it's a nighttime scene and I'm painting white white clothing, I think. White shirts or white uh, fur for the stocking caps and stuff. Um, and it's in the dark. So how would you represent that white in a dark room? Um, and I'm pretty much talk about that. It's pretty much like the base color that's there. Um, and then the colors that are around it is what really gives it that white meaning. Um, so this white is not white because it's color white. It's cause it's, it's next to a different color. So like this background is the true white. That's the true one. But this white is a white that, uh, that has been, um, blended with the, uh, the base color, which is the orange is uh, purple color. So I'm just using that white and keeping it transparent and going as bright as possible. And it it, uh, it invokes a white feeling. Like none of this is white. Like this part of the cape, the shadow part, it's also white, right? It's white, but it's not white at the same time. So white can be pink, can be purple, can be green, can be orange, can be any color. Just a really light value of it, like a bright version of it. Um, and it doesn't make sense unless you have it in a, in a setting. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I love the watercolor feel you pen and give. Thank you. Thank the use. Do the thanking to you. Okay, today. Thank you over this. Thank you over here. Uh. Wow. <clears throat> Sorry, hold on a sec here. Okay. So good. That the good one. Yeah, hey, that the good one. That the good one. <laughs> um, I think we can work on one punch now. Let's go. Let's go one punch. He kind of like stands out right there. Just wondering, like, when are you gonna start working on? And I like the way he's kind of flat in color. It separates him from everybody else. So I'm thinking. You know, let's keep it on a separate layer. We'll work on that. Work on that. <laughs> His really, really simple design is is something that's gonna definitely separate him from everybody else. So while everybody is all intricate, um, you know, shall now. <laughs> oh yeah. By the way, booty, booty prisoner. His butt's right there behind him. If you didn't, if you didn't, if have you noticed? Okay, if you haven't noticed. His butt's right there, Pooty. <laughs> Pooty pr prisoner. Look, the funniest part is I'm going to be judged by anybody who doesn't watch One Punch, but I don't care. That's on the normies. 
<laughs> it's gonna look at it and be like, <laughs> I'll take it to the print shop. I'm like, okay. Okay. <laughs> it's really comedic, okay? He's busting through his glorious prisoner outfit just in all his glory. Ah, are you gonna come to Ditus Anime Pro stream tomorrow? Am I? Am I? Ha! Ha! Anime Pro! Yeah, yeah. He hasn't been to my hangout group in a while. I don't know. I haven't talked to him. No, I'm not gonna go. He never shows up. Tell him. Tell him when I, when, what I said. You tell him. He expects me to send him the link every time. I'm tired, okay? I'm just one man. I'm just one man. I get tired. <laughs> no, I actually forget sometimes. It's just like I, I manage to hang out with like Ross, Dross, and um, Cynics, and a lot of other people. And, and some people require me to send them direct links. And sometimes I'm just like, I'll send it out. And then... Some, and after a while, I get I get tired. <laughs> uh, this one man. The thing is, I okay, okay. Do I have do I have the right to feel tired? Do I have the right to feel tired? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. You know why? Because, damn it, I'm, they're on the freaking they're on the they're on the hangout list. Like that's that's a lot of people join automatically. Ross does, Cynics does. You know what I'm saying? They all join. They all join. They just join. Like when it, when I call, it's up. It's open. They'll get notified. But I guess I guess some people died us are too lazy, <laughs> lazy, <laughs> lazy to turn on that dang notification. You know, like turn it on. You'll hear it when it rings. When it rings, and then it goes on. Um, but we're joking aside. I yeah. I I just forget. We, talk, we talked. We're supposed. I'm supposed to give him. I'm supposed to give him the link. <laughs> him and like some others. Are you gonna go back to streaming more regularly after the con? Uh. Sip. <laughs> Well, the thing about that is, uh, it's it's gonna yeah. I mean, I'm gonna try to go for at least at least at least once a month. That's the goal, okay? Once a month, and that's after because I have the uh, I have the uh, the Patreon reward. I c come out, I say thank you guys. You know, like it's nice to just uh, shout out to you guys afterwards, and. Um, yeah, do I do a YouTube video on that? But one of the other goals was to also put out a proper instructional tutorial video, like that's completely free, you know, and just just readily available resource for you guys. The stuff like the the, the fundamental stuff, um, you know, the basic stuff. Um, and I and I and I have a lot, 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 lot to cover, you know, because it's not always about finishing a painting it's about learning how to draw you know what i mean um patreon rewards are usually techniques and strategies to <laughs> strategies to techniques on on painting and creating a piece it's usually what it is it's usually um not a, a how-to video my how-to videos well it is how to actually it is how to but um yeah so one stream, one instructional video. Instructional video. Thank you. Yes, that's what I want to say. Ah, yes. That's what I want to say. Ah, that's what I want to say. You guys want to talk? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Irish people. <laughs> or leprechaun people. <laughs> I just noticed uh, speaking. <laughs> that's racist. Speaking patterns as they start off high and they come back down. Ah, I'm drawing one part man. Time to fart a little bit. And you gotta really just curl up your tongue while you talk. Yeah, curl up your tongue. Uh, 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 um. 
sighed Tom was sad with that fart. He farted? When did he fart? So what's really cool about um, YouTube now? Super cool! Super cool is they uh, they save the they save the comments they save the comments to the video. <laughs> I know I mentioned this before, but I don't have to keep the uh, the comments up anymore. Am I blocking my my screen? Let's let's start recording eventually. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't record that either. So dumb. So dumb, Jet. You catch yourself talking about it, and then you. You don't do it twice in a row. Record. Okay. So, um, what am I trying to say? Yeah, they don't, <laughs> it doesn't have to, I don't have to have it up blocking the comments anymore. And this is something that, uh, they used to have back early, like 2012 to like 2013. And then until like this year, <laughs> this year, I believe they started saving those comments again. So for about six years, they, they left us in the dark. Like all the fun comments and stuff I, I would miss out on. Or I'd have to block my drawing. Which is fine. But it just means I can't really record. Uh, poor leprechauns. I don't them Poor leprechauns. They're poor. I like the, I like the Irish. Whoa, nine four nine fifty-eight, nine fifty-eight. Been an hour already. And it was surprising. I actually started um early. So we'll go we'll well not early, but on time. <clears throat> on time. We'll go to one ten. Okay. Because I spent the first ten minutes just rambling. As I always do. Just trying to get my bearings straight. Internet is going bad. I see red. Oh, I lost my connection. I lost it. Wait, yellow, yellow. Oh no. Oh, oh, it says the stream's ho what? Something's happening to the stream. Okay, it's back to green. Oh man, we had a little uh, internet storm just there. Please bear with it. Bear with me. Apologize. Apologize. It's too late. Apologize. It's too late. Yeah. It's too late. Apologize. Would <laughs> sound pretty annoying to say to somebody. It's cool in a song. If you guys all know, it's Warm Republic. It's too late to apologize. <laughs> too late. Hey, uh, sorry, I, uh, oh, yeah, I scratched your car. It's too late to apologize. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, do you ever plan on making a video of you showing your old art? Yeah, 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 I am. Yes, I'm. Yes, I'm. Dang, we covered a we covered a pretty uh pretty personal topic. You know what I mean? I don't want to talk about my finances on air, just like 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 straight up. But yeah, dog, like, damn, like. <laughs> Sometimes we got it, you know. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to Oh yeah, it's um it's a beautiful year. We had a huge huge turnout. <clears throat> and on Gumroad was I'm so 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 surprised. I'm doing super good on there too. So thanks you guys. Anybody who picked up the uh the uh the package through Gumroad, thanks thanks to you guys as well. Man. We on our way. We on our way. All right. Mm. 
And, um, oh, I want to address some things. I want to talk about some thing, things. My goodness. So, man, time is so limited nowadays. So limited. When I'm on the grind like this, like, I'm on schedule. Like, damn, like, I got, look, man. I, look, friends and social life goals about to go the wayside. You know what I mean? I put that aside, but... You know, like I still have to to tend to them. Like I got I got to be a groomsman for a, a wedding. You know, gotta take care of that. I was supposed to go pick up a, a friend a friend from the airport. Ugh, I canceled on a friend first time, best friend. All right, one of one of my best friends. Okay, top friend. Yes, you guys heard it. I've, I've hung out with him on here. He's been on here before, Steven. Yeah, I didn't. I couldn't go pick it up. His mom, and mom and dad usually go pick him up. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, I wish I could. I wish I could, but I can't. Um, that's in the city. It's like a, it's like a four or five hour drive back and forth. You know what I mean? Um. Then. And then I have a uh, like you know. F five or so different art forms and, and and platforms that uh that I post art <laughs> and every single one of those like I try to get to the comments try to try to and questions and inquiries it's just bah! oh yeah and uh before this show oh dang I got all kinds of I got all kinds of Right, oh, poor leprechauns again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, no, it hasn't done anything. Okay, I won't... All right, I won't sing. Jeez, what the fuck? I... It's too late to apologize. It's too late. You're in the wrong stream if you want... You don't want me to sing. Oh. You are in the wrong stream. Look, I will apologize. <laughs> it's too late. But it's not. I'm not gonna apologize. I'm gonna apologize for for making bad mistakes on video editing. But my singing, man. That's that's what we do on the Jetty Jet Show. We're here. We out here. We're out here for the past what eight years? How long has it been since 2012? The started streaming. Six years. Won't tell me to not sing. What the Better, but you better, but um, You know what I mean? Sometimes, sometimes, I don't know if you're joking, but I mean, like, I mean, aww. <laughs> I regret it. I regret it, DJ, DJ Resh. Yeah, I don't know if the person was joking, but, I mean, some people be really demanding. I mean, I have no problem with, like, you know what I mean? I'm still learning how to do these do these uh editing videos for the uh for the Patreon version I mean the YouTube version of my Patreon videos. But damn man, some people just get mad. Like don't don't talk. Like don't talk or just play the play the video. Like like if you're gonna if you're gonna talk, explain. But if you're not gonna explain, don't talk at all. Like just let the music play. I'm like Yes, Massa. You know? So, I mean, it's like, I can't please them all. can't please them all. But I try I try my best. try my best. It hurts, man. It, it hurts. It's too late to apologize. Oh, sh I guess it's, uh, it's the mic. It must be. It spikes. Oh, I'm sorry. The mic just spikes up a bit. Ah, you know what? Ah, see, Angie, she knows how to tell. She knows how to tell it. She knows how to explain it properly. <laughs> don't sing. Sounds like don't sing because uh, your singing is garbage, which it probably is. But <laughs> if you can put like some sort of explanation why you don't want to sing, like 
the mic. I just lowered the mic's volume, so hopefully that helps. Ten minutes. We got four minutes. Um, real quick before the stream's over, I'm just I'm just gonna stop here. Um, we worked on Sonic and Saitama. Saitama. Um, next this month, I am super busy. Fully booked, trying to finish the rest of these drawings. I got seven more to go in the next 10 days. And it's going to be crazy. Got to build a rig. Got to get them printed. Go do the convention at Fanime. Table 1116, one, 1116. Okay. But I'm still going to release a Patreon video. That's right. I'm still going to release it. Mm hmm. How the blip am I going to do that? Anyway, how am I going to do that? Um, well, I got some help. Um, somebody's going to be helping me chop up the video, all of it, and I'm going to give them all of my earnings. Like, just take it. Like, I want to make sure something goes out to you guys. So chopping it up, you know, editing the, uh, just sh shortening the video because these videos for this drawing, for example, was, was 30 hours long. We don't want to have video <laughs> that's 30 hours up. We're trying to condense it, you know, make it concise, make it specific and focused so that you can actually learn something from it. Um, so the person's going to be a good friend of mine. Um, uh, going to be doing that for me and um, working on the videos. Uh, I did editing everything. I'm just going to be voicing it over and also working on the PDFs and all the description and writing that goes into it um, once I get back. So fully booked. As soon as I get back, I mean, I get back on the 28th, 29th, no, 29th. And I have two months to um, put in my, two, no, two days to do my own. Um, final touches on there so yes the next patreon piece will be will be nova from starcraft um also now on overwatch freaking crazy also heart uh, heart of this heart of the storm hardest in the heart of the storm <laughs> what am i talking about uh heroes of the storm yeah um but yeah so be on the lookout for that and this is going to be out um it will be released at the end of the month on the 30th okay or, yeah, the 30th. And, um, yeah. Keep an eye out for that, you guys. And uh, with that, I think that's pretty much it. We got, uh, yeah. We got a long ways to go, you guys. Thanks so much, everybody, for, you know. <laughs> oh, Andrew, half joking, that's cool. Now, you see, now half joking is cool. You can half joke. <laughs> half truth, because I understand. I understand sometimes it's garbage um but thanks you guys <laughs> so much for um for all the support you guys and uh hope you guys enjoyed the stream ba -la -ba 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 -la -la. <laughs> let's put out let's do a little exit song how about that huh let's get a little exit song make sure to do it proper so that it sounds nice okay um stop audios yeah here. That's not the one I wanted. Oh, messed up. Okay. So take care, you guys. This was that Daddy Day Show. We'll see you guys again soon. Take care. Take care. Arigato gozaimasu. Hi, hi. Arigato. Mara.
And we 